So, Professor Fitzroy, what exactly is a Kelpie? Well, a Kelpie is a half horse, half fish, shape shifting monster. They've always lived around here. This place used to be called Kelpie's Nest. Actually, Edward Leroy purchased the TY101 stream and the surrounding bush in 1918. Ever since, it's been called Leroy's Bush. Actually, Whalers named this place Kelpie's Nest in 1877. It was renamed Leroy's Bush in memory of Edwin Leroy. He went missing in these parts and was never seen again. He was taken by the Kelpie! Good God, man! So what actually happened to the two missing researchers? I told them to stay away, but that meddling sailor offered to guide them. The researchers left with the sailor four days ago and haven't been seen since. You'll never see any of them again. Well, that's what Professor Fitzroy believes, and he's not alone. These images were taken by Hans Murgatroyd from Northcote Point Ornithological Society. He believes they show the shapeshifting Kelpie in the waters of Little Shoal Bay. Hans would not appear on camera today, but he believes that the missing researchers are the most recent victims of the legendary Kelpie. We may never know. Back to you, Bob. Whoa! Whoa! So the legend of the Kelpie is true! And it lived right here in Little Shoal Bay? This is our place. Kai Pai Tiki. We thought the Kelpie legend was just made up, but the old news report proved it was real. We had to find the Kelpie and film it. We were going to be famous. We started by tracking down Professor Fitzroy. We discovered the professor was a broken man. His obsession with the Kelpie drove him mad, and now he was just living around the corner from the Shoal Bay at Onipoto Reserve, under the bridge. He smelt disgusting, but he had a lot to tell us. Kelpie! Ooh, bad Kelpie, Kelpie! There you go, that will keep you safe! Yep, I've seen him all right. I stared right into his big, evil, horsey eyes. Have you seen one recently? Not for 40 years. Too smart, too vigilant, too prepared. <laughs> what do you mean, Professor? I mean, no Kelpie will ever come near me. I'm too prepared. <clears throat> I used to just spray it on, but over the past years, I just started drinking it. <laughs> I was safe as houses. No Kelpie will ever come near me. Oh, you. What is that stuff? It smells so. Disgusting. Chlorine, potassium, sodium, urea, mainly urea. How do you make it? I make it myself. Yes, I know, but what's in it? Myself. <laughs> yeah, so it was terrible. But the professor did show us these old newspaper clippings about the Kelpie, and then he told us about the sailor, McTavish McGee, the mysterious guy who took the researchers out that night. Cheers! Cheers! Those researcher laddies, they want to write on the head. I knew where the King Kelpie lived. I'm pretty sure it had babies in the nest, but I would never go near it. So what happened, Mr. McGee, um, Captain McTavish? Those idiot research laddies thought they knew better than me. Once I told them where the King Kelpie lived, they couldn't stay away. So, did you take them to the nest? Do I look dead? Do I look dead for you? Well, a little bit. <laughs> Those laddies stole my boat and headed straight for the nest. King Kelpie wasn't having no visitors that night. No way. What happened next? He snapped my bunny bolty in half and left this wrecked and abandoned at the front door of his nest. Just like that, he ate them like a couple of fish fingers. <laughs> Only they're people fingers, but they're a hole. But just like a finger. Have you seen any Kelpies since then? No, not in a long time. But the professor looks after me. 
Look in your cups. He's looking after you too. <laughs> so, old Mickey's boat wreck is over there. So this nest must be somewhere around here. So, we're not actually sure if it comes out of the stream to get to the nest or this bush around us here. So, we're gonna have to set up a, a, a triangle of cameras. Yeah, that sounds good. We set up our cameras and settled in for the night. We weren't going anywhere until we had that Kelpie on film. Did you hear that? Um. Uh, did you see that? So, do you believe, is the Kelpie fact or fiction? If it was fiction, I would definitely not do this. Ugh. I love you, buddy! <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Did you make that yourself too? Those laddies hit it. <laughs> oh.